is up guys, Slapshot Nation, you are back with another video, and I know I've not made a video in a long time, but this is a franchise mode video simulation, and today, what, this is what happens if we take out the best scoring player on each NHL team. So, uh, that's what I did with this franchise video, uh, for the Ducks, uh, I took out Raquel, but anybody who has the most goals on each, from the 17-18 season, I took out from the lineup, and I wanted to test how will they do without their top scoring player so from the Ducks I took Raquel I believe but I didn't change anything on defense obviously but uh, don't get me don't yell at me for forgetting the people I took out but if you're the fans of each team but yeah I took out basically basically took out each best player from the scoring wise stat but so, but Kane, I'm surprised Kane was on there. Like, did Brennan have more goals than Kane? And, uh, but I didn't took out the Brennan K. That's all I know about. Shocker. But anyway, uh, so I'm just going to go through each NHL team here. But I'm sorry for not making videos in a long time. It's been about a week, almost two weeks since my last upload was a Mark Shifley video. Which I for complete my video got deleted. I forgot to record. Uh, like I forgot to record, but I had another video, but then that got deleted by accident. But anyway, I have a tribute video of the Blackhawks coming to the Stanley Cup during a playoff run, so that'll be a tribute video coming up. It should it should be very entertaining. Uh, also, with a host of tribute video video coming up. So uh, I got some things I'm working on right now, but uh, I've been pretty busy this week, and uh, so that's why I haven't made videos in a long time, because uh, I'm going to be moving here shortly, or like in a couple months, so I've been working around the house, um, getting it packed up and stuff, so um, so we're going to go to, uh, so basically I just sent it to the end of the season. So basically here shortly we're just going to take a look at the stats, uh, like the standing wise. So let's get to the playoff tree. So apparently the Oilers won the Stanley Cup, which was surprising. But uh, I was surprised the Canadians got up there and the Panthers. Carolina, yeah that was a shocker too. Like half these teams I didn't think they'll be up there, but Pittsburgh obviously would be up there. But uh what we're going to do next is look at the points for each division. So the Rangers and Devils and the Jackets did not make the playoffs at all. But uh, the Jackets and didn't have a bad record, but it looks like they're a couple points shy. Dang, they're like eight points shy. So let's go to the Atlantic division. So it looks like Boston. Boston didn't make it. Wow. And the Senators. Well, the Senators aren't that surprising. Toronto. The Sabres and the Red Wings did not make it either. Uh, let's go to the Central. So it looks like the Pred Predators did not make the Cup. They didn't make the playoffs? Dang. Okay, let's go to the Pacific. We got the Kings. That's surprising. Golden Knights, not surprising. Flames and Canucks, not surprising. But the Coyotes is the most surprising of all. So I want to look at who's the goal scorer for each team since uh, their number one scoring player is not on the roster. So Perry's for Ducks, Stefan for Coyotes, Boston, Mar Marshan for Boston, Okpozo for Sabres, Tuchuk for Flames, Scanner for Hurricanes, Kane for Chicago, obviously, Ranton for Colorado, uh, Cam Atkinson for Blue Jackets, Roger Law for Stars, Red Larkin for Red Wings, Drysdale for Oilers, who were the uh, Barkov for Fl Panthers, Carter for, yeah, I'm going too fast, but. So these are the scoring players without their main scoring player on the team. So Kreider, not bad. 34 goals, impressive. Hoffman, Voracek, Crosby, not surprising. Evander Kane, they boy, boy, they love their pickup from the trade deadline. Stan Kose ain't surprising. Matthews is also not surprising. Uh, Neil won't be surprising. Burkowski is surprising. That is surprising to me, but he can't score, but that was still surprising to me, though. But 
Anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, again, sorry for not making videos in a long time. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be working on more videos in the, coming in the future. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. And see you next video. See ya.